You have reached your destination. Yep. Okay, here's my uh, my starting and opening gambit. I don't know what you want to call it. Actually, I want to take this off the tripod real quick. And I might start this video off with how it started, how this how, how this hood started with the milky whiteness. You can see I've already got some uh, what do you call it? Some uh, some reflection of my garage windows in the thing. Uh, I'm just about to uh, um, start buffing. Actually, I've got this stuff here. Got AutoZone uh, Grills Complete Compound. Um, I like this stuff because I've used it before and it goes a long way and it does some good stuff. Um, you can use McGuire's. There's all kinds of stuff out there for cutting compounds. And um, like I say, I like this stuff. Um, it's, let's see, there you go. Um, I need to put gloves on too, I just remembered. Um, I'm going to start off in a section where it's easy to see and uh, I'll wipe it off, take a, a, a starter shot. Here's how good it gets. I'll go to the next pad and on and on. And you can see how quickly this goes. Um, I'll maybe do five minutes per uh, per pad color, and you're going to be wowed. I'm going to be tickle pink, and it's going to be just gorgeous. So I didn't actually intend to do this, but I thought maybe this might be uh, helpful for somebody who's doing in the uh, uh, in the beginning stages of their own. Um, I have labeled ladled this thing up with four dots, and uh, you know popped it all over a small area here um, on the uh, on the speed control here. I'm going to go at a two. I'm going to spread it around, and then I'll start buffing with a four. Oh, you can't see it from your vantage point, so I'll take you down. And that's just the first stage. I've got a couple of other uh, buffing pads to do. Oops. Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty tickled. All right, I'm going to press pause and go to the next pad, and uh, you'll see some better results. I'll just keep on uh, taking quick ones. Yep, there we go. There's the next uh, the, the uh, next pad down. That's the orange pad. I'll be doing the uh, what the black one, I think, next. The white, I never remember. <clears throat> but you can see. See my reflection in there? Uh, maybe while well, the light's different, but... Yeah, you can see the difference, anyway, between... 2000 grit and uh, and buffed out and you can start seeing the metal flake in there. Yeah, it's looking pretty good Good job. Not bad. Not bad <sighs> All right, I'll be blunt. This isn't going as quickly as I'd like it to be and it's not cutting down to the polish I want it to be so I'll use that uh, Griot's Whatever the hell it is stuff there for either my BMW or a paint job. I've already got established I'm going to be using this stuff instead. I've used this before. This is pretty good goddamn stuff. It's uh, it's a it's a 3M product. I didn't think I'd need it, but I'm going to need it. Um, first step is to get uh, rid of uh, marks from 1200 grit or uh, or finer. Uh, second one gets rid of those marks, swirl marks, and the third one here gets rid of um, machine marks. So I'll be using the same pad, I think. Well, different pad for the different stuff, but I'm going to start over basically, and you'll see a better better product, I think. So, I'm going to pause. Alright, so this is with that 3M stuff. I've done the, the uh, three stages. I may want to do more, because this is really nice. Um, take a look at that. And over here, you can see, right there, is where it stops being, uh, it, you know, where I'm not buffed. So... <clears throat> Not bad, not bad. Again, unbuffed, unbuffed, buffed with 3M. I've only done this one square, 
basically in the uh, the paint. So I'll continue to do the rest. And uh, yeah, I'm not displeased at all. Okay, so I'm done. I'm all finished for the night. Um, like I said in the cup in the uh, in the other. Uh, Oh, my back is popping. Uh, uh, in the other uh, clips, I used uh, some uh, some 3M products. Um, number one, two, and three. Uh, progressively finer grit. Uh, I then uh, used the stuff I got earlier, this complete compound, um, as a as a fourth, and it uh, I think I put it over the top. I mean, look what I got. I mean, you can see the. Uh, the uh, reflection of this thing pretty well and it'll change as I kind of get darker and you know as the light changes so um, not bad at all unfortunately you can see the imperfections now like that it's a low spot oh well no uh, no good body work goes on un unpunished right but again Compared to how this was, move this out of the way, compared to how this was to how it is now, um, the milky polish of this down to, kind of not milky polish, down to, or up to this, um, this buffing represents, oh, three hours worth, two hours worth maybe? Um, and I did uh, four passes. On uh, on each of my applications with all three of those 3M products and one of the stuff I just showed you, so I did a pretty good and pretty in depth um, in depth uh, attempt here, and it looks great. I cannot wait to get this into the sun. It's gonna just blow my socks off. Yeah. So I guess that's it for the night. I'll do the. Uh, Probably the rear of my hood, at least the parts that are gonna uh, that aren't gonna get covered up by that uh, that uh, hood pad, um, and uh, then I might just put that hood pad on. As a matter of fact, so yep. So that's it for the night. Cool.